OK, I'm Alan Berry from Brattleboro, Vermont. Uh, I'm presenting three downtown revitalization projects. Uh, we're dealing with the same issues that larger cities are dealing with. Each of these projects has a public space as a major component of a private redevelopment project. The Brattleboro uh, House Hotel is uh, under construction, will be completed the end of the summer. Uh, constructed in 1881, like the other two projects that I'm presenting, these were built <clears throat> before the dominance of the automobile. This photo is in 1910, so there is an automobile garage in the front. But the original hotel had retail space along the two main streets of town, a double-decker porch with uh, hanging flowers where people could get out of the sun into the shade, and a tunnel uh, at the far right that connected to Harmony Park at the interior of the block behind the hotel. Uh, this is a map uh, with a park uh, sort of up from uh, dead, dead center. The hotel is wrapping it up to the uh, top of the page and to the, to the right. Uh, the buildings surrounding the park are livery stable, uh, storage, laundry, power plant, uh, kitchen wing off of, off of the hotel. People could access this park through alleyways, uh, through the hotel, and through the tunnel. In 1904, the, uh, the park was uh, built over for a parking garage. Uh, the public lost that interior space. Uh, the space was owned by the hotel. It wasn't a public space, and today it is still owned by the hotel. And renovating the project, we're bringing back the park. We're uh, recreating more pedestrian circulation. Uh, we're discussing a fire pit for the winter since Brattleboro has a fairly cold climate. And the park is accessed through the tunnel, uh, as it was originally uh, through the hotel building now from a, uh, a main lobby and an interior atrium and uh, through the alleyways that still exist to the, uh, to the left of this slide. This is a view looking at uh, Harmony Park. There is public parking on the interior of the block just in the foreground. You see the tunnel which was original to the hotel in the distance and uh, we have uh, added a second floor to one of the service wings of the hotel. Uh, those two floors now form a community college, which are part of a mixed-use project. Uh, we have apartments, the community college, offices, retail again on the main street, uh, restaurants, and a tavern in the basement. Uh, this is the public atrium where the buildings intersect. This is a new space created uh, at a tight uh, connection between existing buildings. The second project in Rhode Island is the Kaiser Mill Complex. The Kaiser Mill project uh, covered 14 acres, uh, employed well over 5,000 people at its peak. Uh, the buildings were built around interior courtyards, and the main entry was just left of center uh, the tunnel which connected into one of those courtyards. The building has been uh, renovated, uh, rehabbed to mixed use over a 20 plus uh, time frame. Uh, some of the courtyards have been opened back up. Most of those were filled in with infill buildings. Those were demolished. Uh, the main archway is still uh, towards the, the right of the slide. Uh, that enters to a children's courtyard. Uh, offices for Department of Children, Youth, and Families are here, so there's sort of a children's playground. Uh, further up, more at the center, is uh, uh, an adult's courtyard. Uh, that serves the assisted living and elderly housing portion of the project. Uh, and then a large courtyard serves uh, as both parking and uh, park area for the general public. Uh, that's accessed from a new tunnel that we created through one of the existing buildings. Uh, there's the uh, combination uh, parking and uh, people courtyard at the upper left, the, uh, uh, the adults courtyard at the upper right, and a community center uh, which can be used by the general public at the, the lower right. 
and to partly screen the parking and provide more public space, we created a small park uh, that um, uh, that has a, a mosaic pattern uh, in the pavers. Uh, they represent uh, ships that were used to import workers from the Azores. Uh, the paving material is a volcanic stone from the Azores donated by a, a local business person whose parents and grandparents worked in the mills. The third project in Bristol, Rhode Island uh, is on Hope Street, which is Bristol's main street. Uh, these were derelict buildings. Uh, the buildings originally were the YMCA, the Custom House uh, Center Left, which was the Custom House and Post Office, a retail block, and an annex to Town Hall. Town Hall is just uh, center off, off the page. Uh, Newport Hospital purchased this for a healthcare facility uh, for physical rehab and uh, medical offices. Uh, there was a lot of opposition in the town. We worked out a compromise that they could have their facility if they shared parking with the town, uh, if they provided um, access through the site, which we did with another tunnel, uh, and uh, if they maintained retail. So they ended up purchasing uh, an empty building uh, retail and uh, doing that in addition to the renovation of the buildings that they were using. Uh, this is along the main street. The custom house is set back like other civic buildings in Bristol. So behind the, it's actually a thermostat, not a clock, is the custom house building. We created a park in front of that and then by tunnel that connects through to the interior of the site. Uh, upper left is the circle drive for dropping patients off at the physical rehab center and you see the tunnel there. Uh, we created a connector building uh, with elevator stairs and entries to the buildings that are at slightly different levels and passage through the site. The upper right is that archway, and the lower right is the uh, commercial block building in the foreground to the healthcare project. On, on all of these projects, there was some controversy. A lot of it centered around parking. These are all in walkable communities. There are bike racks, uh, public transit. Parking turned out uh, not to be an issue and was reduced considerably from the original requirements on each project. Thank you.